I want to read this letter to Glenn Beck. I, I've written a few of my own <laughs> over the years. But I think that this perfectly says it. And this is a letter written by our own DJ Ball from, uh, uh, I believe, uh, Vancouver, 9-11 Truth, Vancouver, We Are Change. Uh, DJ Ball sometimes listens to the show. What's up, man? And he wrote this letter to, uh, as I call him, Glenn Geck. Dear Glenn, thanks for providing, once and for all, once and for all, once and for all, Thanks for proving once and for all that you're nothing more than a soulless, treasonous propagandist. And let's remember, let's remember what Jim Garrison said about treason. He said, treason never prospers, for if it prospers, none dare call it treason. In other words, if you're a freedom fighter, uh, you won the war. If you're a terrorist, you've lost the war or you're losing the war. The letter continues. You're nothing more than a soulless, treasonous propagandist. Your latest, vomitous, 9-11 truth hit piece comparing our friends, family, and co-workers, almost all 9-11 truthers, with Jew-hating white supremacists is the last straw. Many truthers happen to be Jewish. I know you know this, but you don't care. It's too bad that you're given a platform to spew your irresponsible lies, but it is Fox, after all. Comparing us with Al-Qaeda and anti-Semites is reprehensible as well as ridiculous. Would you talk your shite to Colonel Robert Bowman or Jesse Ventura or anyone else listed at PatriotsQuestion911.com? How about these 700 architects and engineers for 9-11 Truth? Are they dangerous anti-Semitic terrorists too? Well, DJ Ball, I think that question could be answered in Jane Harmon's hearings for H.R. 1955, where they use architects and engineers for 9-11 Truth as a perfect example of who could be a homegrown terrorist. Of course, we later found out that she did that as part of a quid pro quo so that she wouldn't be prosecuted for protecting the real spies and the real traitors working and sponsored under APAC. The letter continues. Should Willie Nelson be treated like a terrorist? He has questions too, Beck, like all of us. Most human beings no longer believe the official conspiracy as fed by the Bush administration and their friends, the controllers and mainstream media. Why would they, Beck? Why would they believe that the same people that lied them into two wars might be lying again about 9-11? A report underfunded, stonewalled, and set up to fail according to the commissioners of the 9-11 Commission themselves. Uh, read their book. The evidence of the controlled demolition has just recently been discovered, peer-reviewed, and published. Senator Max Cleveland, anybody remember him, resigned from the 9-11 investigation because it was a fraud and a hoax. And, of course, you remember he was subsequently branded as an enemy and a terrorist himself. Max Cleveland, who gave uh, an arm and two legs for the cause, fighting on the battlefield, called a terrorist and an American-hating traitor an enemy by the chicken hawks then running the country and trying to cover up what they did on 9-11. Letter continues. The truth always comes out. History will look back at you as a pathologically lying yellow stain. I saw you get treated like the piece of trash that you are on The View. It was refreshing to see you get called out for your lies, and they did. The chicken hawk in you shines through. All you had to say to you for yourself was, but, but I'm not a journalist. I'm a commentator. You're neither, Glenn. I'm thinking a better description might be a treasonous and parasitic Pinocchio parrot crossbreed masquerading as a human being and covered with the blood of thousands of dead American soldiers or simply a shite head. Stop lying, DJ Ball. Good job, DJ Ball. Good job.